Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be designing something relatively interesting. Now we're going to go ahead and design a small tank that has a 150mm cannon that uh, is able to take out the enemies. I mean, that is what cannons are made for, but that is what we're going to do today. We're also going to make it for the interwar period to try and deal with the ambush map because that is what I want to do. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Oh, and I should mention this creation in the background is something that I built last time, so if you guys want to check it out, go to my previous videos and you will be able to see it. Alright, so this is going to be kind of interesting because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to build this. I don't know what it's going to look like or anything like that. So, uh, this is going to be very, very weird and very, very interesting. Anyway, first things first, let's go ahead and squidge this down and send that bit backwards. We're then going to go to this and we're going to make it actually a lot smaller. We're going to go to 3 meters long. That seems actually very short. And, um, that's what we want. That is exactly what we want. We're going to have the sprocket in the front, we're going to go ahead and lower this guy down, and we're going to send this bit backwards just a little bit. We're then going to go with the road wheels, and we're going to make those guys a little bit smaller like so, and that is awesome. So far, so good. Alright, next thing. we got to squidge it. This thing actually has to be squidged quite a lot. Let's go to 300 millimeters. There we go, nice. From there, we're going to go to config, and we're actually going to have to adjust the uh, suspension to go inwards actually quite a lot. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to worry about the width of that as well, so let's go down to the road wheels and worry about the width. There we go. Nice! Okay, so far, so good. In fact, actually, adjust this back out to where it needs to be, which I believe is there, um, and that's going to be fine. Okay, nice. Let's go back to layout, go ahead and uh, reduce these guys, make them skinnier, and there we go. Okay, the idler as well, we're going to have to do the same thing. So, width of this guy, bring it all the way in. Apparently that's not actually enough, so actually reduce that. Uh, then the width of this needs to come all the way out to here, and there we go. Alright, nice. Let's go ahead and decorate these the way that we want them to look, and go from there. Now, I think I'm actually going to go with this. It's a little bit strange, but that's what I want. Alright, and then the only other thing that we need to deal with is actually the tracks themselves. I would love to go with these ones, but I think they're still bugged. They are not! Okay, nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. So, thickness, let's go with 70. There we go. Seems a little bit strange, but we're gonna go with that. And now we have to make everything else fit within it, which is actually kind of annoying. So, send that to the inside. There we go. We'll actually have it there. That seems good. Uh, the width of these guys... I can't actually remove any more of that, so we'll bring it outwards, and we'll have that there. And the return rollers, exactly the same thing. Reduce this guy, but also bring it out to there. Okay, nice. We'll have them all the same. Okay, so I've just changed the width to one meter apart, and that seems pretty good. The last thing that I kind of want to do here is pretty much remove the suspension of this, and uh, that seems pretty good. Unfortunately, the suspension on this bit at the back is actually really far forwards. I don't know how to move that bit backwards. In fact, I really have no idea how to move that bit backwards. Unless I change the rest angle, but that doesn't really change much. Um, yeah, so it's going to have to just stay as is, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I can bring this forwards a little bit more, but then if I brought these guys forwards, that would be strange. I think we're going to leave it like this. In fact, bring this guy down a little bit, and that'll be awesome. Okay, so, what I want to do is go to compartments, yes, let's go to the back of this and drag it forwards, yes. Uh, and essentially what I really, really wanted to do with this tank is actually build some sort of axle thingies. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how to do it, but um, yeah, axle thingies would be great. So let's go to default so we can actually see everything. We're going to lower this guy down until we are the same level as these. And we're going to go ahead and lower it down here as well, again, so we're the same level as these guys. We're then going to go ahead and squidge it. Okay, actually, bring this backwards a little bit. There we go. Extend it once more, bring it forwards. Yes. And then extend it again, and this is where we start building things in. So extend it again. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and squidge it a little bit. Nice. Squidging is happening, guys. Squidging's happening. There we go. Do it one more time. Squidge these guys together. And push it backwards. There we go. Lovely. Yes. So that is essentially what I wanted. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. And extend it out to the side. Yes. Straight into there. That is lovely. Okay. We are then going to go ahead and try and match this up with it. 
so it looks cool, and it definitely does. I might also make these guys a little bit bigger, so that um, it does sort of fit in there, which is a little bit odd. But yes, cool. Okay, so from there, what else do we want to do? Well, I'm thinking we actually go ahead and extend this guy upwards actually quite a lot. We then go ahead and grab each of these guys and extend them out to the sides, just like so, and essentially leave it a lot like that. It's odd, it's cool though. Yes. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and bring these guys forwards, or out a little bit more, into the actual sprocket mount to defend things a little bit. Um, yeah, that seems to make a little bit of sense to me, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so from there, what do we actually want to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and split this guy into a few sections, so let's go ahead and split it right there. Then let's go ahead and split it right here at the front. There you go, and we're going to go ahead and build this bit at the front up a little bit more. In fact, let's just do it on the sides. No, we can't do it the way that I wanted to. Although, actually, I might be able to make it that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split it a lot more. Split, there we go. Split it one more time. Here we go. And this is going to be the front of our gun, and these are going to be the sides. Yes! Okay, sick. Uh, right, okay, can we go backwards even further than that? Probably not that far, though. Um, okay, extend. Yes, okay, nice. We're going to bring this up a lot. We're then going to send it backwards. And we're going to leave it essentially a lot like that. However, I'm going to bring these guys backwards a little bit too. I'm then going to send these guys off to the sides quite a lot. And actually, this is going to be raised up a lot further. Um, because, yeah, we need space for people to actually sit in there. And uh, that's just what we need to do. So get rid of this. Get rid of this. And bring these guys upwards loads. And also send them backwards a little bit too. Nice. Oh, that looks interesting but cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so if we are going to do that, what if we actually just go ahead and lower everything else down a little bit too, just to uh, make sure it sort of fits in? Actually, uh, let's go ahead and lower these guys at the front down. Um, oh, it would be nice to be able to just do that, but I think it's going to mess with everything. It is. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, lower all these guys down, but then when it comes to it, we can just go back to this guy and this guy and bring that bit back up. There we go. Okay, I mean, it's not so weird, so that's good. All right, delete this guy and delete this guy, because one's concave and one's convex. Go ahead and put all these guys in. There we go. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Bosh. And then these guys will make that bit sort of flatter, and that bit as well. Nice. Okay. I love that. That's cool. So, where do we want to go from there? What do we want to do? I'm not entirely sure. I really don't know. Uh, let's go and extend these guys upwards a little bit like so. That might mess with the things that I've just put in, but actually it seems fine. So that's good. From there, we're going to go to faces. We're going to extend this guy backwards, which uh, might be an oversight. I don't know. I actually do it on both sides as well. There we go. Grab both of those. Extend. Yes. We're then going to go to the tops of both of these. And we're going to send them both down a little bit, like so. And send them forwards a little bit too. That honestly looks okay. Yeah. Okay, so I did say we were going to have a decently sized gun in this, and that is exactly what we are going to do. However, what I want to try and do first is something I've never really tried before in this game, uh, and I don't know if it's going to work. So split this, there we go, then go to this guy and split it again. Go to this guy down here and split it again. And there's our bunch of splits, that's good. We're then actually going to go to this edge, which I can't seem to grab for some reason. There we go, and we're going to split that once. Okay, and then we're going to split it again and again if I can. But for some reason I can't grab the edges. Which is super duper annoying. There we go, split it. And one last time. Come on. We can do it. We can get there if we really try. Come on. Yes. Is that it? No. I don't think that was it actually, but maybe it was. Okay, we can get away with this. So what I want to do is actually delete this. No, that is extend. I want to delete this. Okay, and then I kind of wanted the same thing on the other side, but we can't do that. Um, yeah, I wanted it to go through, but actually I should have built it that way, but never mind. Okay, cool. So doing all of that editing is um, completely useless and doesn't actually matter. But anyway, um, I'm actually going to leave this just as is. That's okay. Let's go to crew really quickly. Go to structural really quickly. Grab one of these guys. Make it really big. Okay, so that is like a big old plate. We're going to go ahead and shove right there. We're then going to make it thicker. There we go. We're then going to put another one directly above that. Send it in. 
Not like this. Hold on. Send it in like this. There we go. Lower it down a little bit. There we go as well. And leave that like that. Cool. Alright, so now what I want to do is obviously add the gun. So go to firepower, go to mantlets. I love this one. I really do. But I don't think it's going to work with what we're going to do here. 150. Bam. Although actually that really does work and I quite like it. So we're going to keep that. Alright, I just thought of another idea that might be cool, might also be very, very strange, I don't know. So let's go to each one of these, there we go, we're gonna extend it off the side. Uh, I'm gonna have to do the same thing on this side, which is unfortunate, but there you go. So all of these. My mirroring is a bit of an issue at this point in time, but that's okay. So, I would love to extend it that way, but I can't. <laughs> there we go, I can do it if I do this, okay, fantastic. And then, I want to bring them all backwards, just like so. Again, that's a little bit weird, but at the same time, will work. Okay, good. So from here, we're gonna grab this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh no. I can't grab some of these, because it's not letting me. I hate when this happens. See, it's grabbing the wrong piece. That's not what we want. We want that one, that one, and this one. Okay, we want the same ones on this side. There we go. Then we're gonna push all of these forwards. But that means we're gonna have to grab this one as well. Oh no. Grab that one, that one, that one, and that one, and do the same on this side. There we go. Alright, push all of those forwards too. Nice, which means I'm going to have to grab this guy, and this guy. Alright, push them forwards a little bit as well. Nice. Okay, so now it's got cheeks on it, which is a little bit strange, but at the same time, makes it look awesome. Okay, uh, rounding. Let's go ahead and smooth off this angle on the front end. I want that to look really, really cool, and I think we can get away with doing that. Uh, honestly, I think this looks pretty sick. We're gonna grab each one of these just to make sure and we're gonna push those backwards too Just to have a bit of a cooler angle and That's it. That's just what I wanted. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, so let's add a tiny bit of decoration Essentially what I want to do is actually use one of these guys right there I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna go ahead and angle it very weirdly uh, In fact, we're gonna go ahead and do this all right, and then gonna go ahead and move it down into position which is about there and I'm going to move it backwards uh, to here so that it's not out the front end. And essentially, that's how we're going to um, have people load the gun. I know it's a commander's coupler, but we can use it, I think. <laughs> we can use it, I think. Okay, let's grab each of these. Okay, and then each of these. Okay, again, let's move this outwards. Yes. I think, there we go, it gives us a little bit more room, that's cool. Alright, more crew stuff needs to be added, so we need a driver's seat. The driver's hatch is gonna go slightly off to the side right over here, and that will allow us to drive the actual vehicle. Uh, we're gonna have a viewport on the other side, we're gonna have it be very small, and essentially this is for firing a machine gun off the front end. Bam, whack that in there, machine gun is gonna go in as well, and that is going to be located just here on this side. Uh, actually quite high. There we go. A little bit odd. It works though. Okay, so what if you were, uh, I don't know, going to fall out of the tank? Well, you'd need yourself a little bit of a railing, wouldn't you? So you'd have one of these guys. Uh, you'd have it turned around, obviously. Because otherwise it's not going to help you. And we're going to send it this way a little bit. We're going to bring it upwards a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Wow. Something like that. Okay, so that's like our little safety mechanism uh, that we have now employed and added to our vehicle. Vehicle. Okay. I mean, do you need a safety mechanism like this? Probably not. <laughs> but we've got one now, so that's a thing. Okay, grab each and every one of these guys, send them backwards to about there. We're going to do what we do every single time on these kind of tanks. Oh, no, apparently we're not. We're going to send this a little bit backwards a little bit further. Then I'm going to grab the center, only the center, and send it in. Unfortunately, that's done something different on both sides, because this bit isn't split. And now it is. No, it's not. It's not working. The split button isn't doing anything. Why wouldn't it be doing anything? No idea. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Anyway, um, that makes things very awkward back here, because I can't do anything with it. Alright, well, actually, I can do something with it. Let's go ahead and grab all of this side. Grab that side. Extend those. There we go. Nice and... Uh, I think we'll just do this on both sides. So each one of these needs to come up. I have managed to accidentally click those guys. It's annoying. It's very annoying, but if I do this, brrr, and brrr, there we go, we could do something like this. 
However, what is going on there? I've clicked that one. Undo. Unclick that one. Go. Yes. Okay, that works. We'll leave it just like that. And on the top, we'll do the same thing. So we'll lower each one of these guys down. And we'll leave it like that. Good. Okay, so let's go to mobility. Yes. We'll go to engine. Yes. We'll go to vents. Uh-huh. And we'll grab one of these guys and we'll do this right here. However, it is going to go on both sides. This guy is going to be flipped over so that it works. And we're going to push these guys forwards a little bit. Good. We now need an exhaust. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. And I think we'll just fire it off the back, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just make it a little bit smaller. And we will just use these guys to fire it straight backwards. That looks like it would work, I think. Okay, so um, now that we've done that, let's go back to crew. we got stowages to worry about now. So let's go ahead and try and shove some of these in. I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these uh, actually quite large in here. Going to lower it down so it's like part of it. And I'll leave it like that. Um, anything else? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to actually add to this. I'm going to add a light in the center. Um, we'll add some structural bits on the outsides, I guess. We'll actually have one there. Let's go ahead and twist this around a little bit. Here we go. Just like so. And I might actually squidge this one down a little bit too, because it's, uh, it's very much in the air. Uh, and I might actually put one of these guys on the side too. So I'm going to do this. Alright, seems a bit odd having those like that, but it actually looks quite good. We're then going to go ahead and shove this guy right here, make it longer, and probably actually wider too, but not too wide. There we go, we're going to have that right there. Alright, it's looking lovely so far, guys. It's looking lovely so far. Alright, this guy, going to go on the rear, make it a little bit smaller, smash it in right there. Actually, do it at the bottom. There we go. Okay, good. We've done it. We've done it. A ladder right there, a ladder at the top, another ladder just below it, and then a door right in the middle. Yeehaw! Nice. Okay, again, looks a little bit weird, but we can get away with it. Uh, I'm also going to actually shove one of these guys, but only one, uh, on the top right here. And there we go. Okay, we've done it! We've done it, guys! We've done it! Um, I'm also actually going to add some panels. Because uh, they might look cool to here. Uh, or we can actually do it with these. I'm not sure what to do now. We could we could have these, or we could have panels. What are we thinking? I'm thinking maybe just these. There we go. So one there, and one there. I don't want to go with too many, but it is an interwar tank, so we'll have some. Um, and then that's fine. <laughs> and then that's fine. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and put some here as well. Okay, so we'll go with those there, and we'll go with uh, those guys about there, and we'll actually attach these guys somewhat together. So actually, put that there, put that there, and there we go. Okay, good. Rivets? Do we need any more rivets anywhere else? I'll do the side, and that is going to be it. Okay, the side is a bit wonky, turns out. Side's wonky. What do we do about that? No idea. Whack that in there. There we go. Make these guys go to there, and that's fine. All right, I'm leaving it like this. I'm not going to add too much more, so that is it. Uh, with that being said, I do need to change things slightly, so let's go to mobility, go to tracks. I'm actually going to drop this down just a tad. There we go. Right, fuel. We're going to release some fuel. 50. Bosh. Um, the amount of crew this thing's going to have is only going to be three. Uh, that means the gunner is also going to be a loader, and the commander's in there, and the driver's in there too. In fact, let's only have two. So, driver, commander, gunner, loader. That's it. Okay, that's kind of all we need. All right, so from there, let's go to engine. We're going to lower this down. Um, actually, we'll increase this, but lower this. So 0 0.5. Bosh, there we go. Actually, 0 0.5, but with four cylinders. Sure. Let's lower this down as well. It's going to be quite a slow tank. And that will be... Two, three, three. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, that will also be three. Can it move? Just about. Oh, man. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting, too, just to let everybody know. Uh, right, we need a gunner's sight so that they can actually shoot. So let's go ahead and grab one of those real quick. And that is going to go just off to the side, right there. And actually be pushed forwards. And also be on this side. Yes. Okay, that's looking lovely. It's actually looking great. Um, the other thing is, actually, I'm going to go straight down the center, 
just like this, and I'm going to lower it down. Oh, I hate this. Because this side's been cut um, into pieces, and the other side hasn't. So how many is this in? Let's have a look at that first. One, two, three, four. All right. So let's go to the other side, go to edges, and split it. This guy, split. The split tool's not working anymore. Turns out that's not going to work. All right, fine. Um, what do we do instead? I guess just grab all of it and do all of it but down, I guess. There we go. And now we can fit everything in it. However, not really because we still need uh, ammunition, which we currently do not have. So we're going to go to each one of these and bring that down too. There we go. However, we are going to bring this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and these two upwards. And there we go. Oh, wait, sorry, I missed one. And that guy. There we go. Uh, just so it doesn't look too weird, and also so we don't get annihilated, because that would be a problem as well. Uh, right, okay. Is there any way to remove more stuff? I don't think so. Crew is like a massive bit of this. Cannon is obviously huge. Uh, transmission, not so much. Although there is two. Suspension, quite big too. Okay, actually, suspension is somewhere we can save uh, some things. So let's go to tracks. Yes, config. Yes, scale. Will this remove some space? No? Okay, never mind. Uh, but this will, so let's go ahead and reduce this all the way down to like 30. There we go, 30, good. And the length of it can come all the way down. There we go, alright, we've got room now. We've got room for ammunition. So, here we go. We're not going to have too many rounds in this. Let's go with six. Six rounds actually seems okay. We're going to whack them in right there. Lower them down so they're actually inside. And they do fit. They do actually fit. Fire! Nice. Okay, yeah, this is going to be sick. This is going to be so cool. Uh, lastly then, let's go to uh, mobility. Yes, let's go to fenders. Generate those. Go ahead and bring it inwards. Actually, outwards a little bit. Go ahead and bring this up to about there. Uh, the width of this is going to come all the way in uh, to about there. The rear offset is going to come all the way forwards to here. And the front offset obviously has to come backwards as well. So front offset, bring that bit backwards to here. We're going to go with these guys because we like those ones. And the front is going to be this guy. Again, because I kind of like those ones. Angle, scale angle. There we go. Okay. What do we think of this, guys? What do we think of it? I think it's actually pretty cool. Uh, but at the same time, there is a little bit more uh, detail. I guess we could add to it, but we haven't. And there is some detail that has miraculously disappeared. So that's good. <laughs> um, but there you go. I'm actually quite happy with it. All right. Lights. Let's go ahead and smash those on the rear, just like this. There you go. And um, yeah, I think that's actually kind of it. Gonna add another ladder on its side right there, because they usually look quite cool. Um, and I'm gonna add a ladder on its side ish right here. There we go. Okay, livery. What kind of livery does it need or does it want? Um, I quite like that one on this guy. I think it looks pretty good. Um, but actually, I kind of like all of them on this. It seems, it seems to sort of fit everything. That's crazy. Okay, autumn. Which one do we never use? Like, we never use some of these. Desert? I guess we never really use that. That looks sick. Okay. Um, and then I guess, go to decals. Realistically, I would use this with this livery. Um, but let's go ahead and use... It works. It really, really works. I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and use this again. It's going to be another German one. Uh, and then one right there. Realistically, I would actually make this probably Swedish or even maybe Finnish. Because uh, it's modeled a little bit around the BT-42. I think that's what it's called. Um, and then a little bit around the Swedish stuff too. Like the SPJ, I guess. Um, however, obviously it's very different. But anyway, um, I guess we can now go into a fight, see if we can actually win it, and we'll go from there. However, first I need to send this bit down until it's not on the gun. There you go. And there. Nice. Oh, and I guess I should mention, um, we are going to have armor on this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and armor up the front, uh, and that is literally it. Not these guys behind, because they are behind, uh, but only the front end is going to be armored. Because um, I think that makes sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and do all of these, 
Not the bottom ones. Not that guy or that guy or that guy. Um, but all of the front until we run out of space. There. That's it. 30 mil of armor on the front. Nothing anywhere else. That's it. All right, so this is the map that I said it had to deal with, and this is the map that it is going to attempt to deal with. Oh, it is so slow. It is ridiculously slow. Okay, we need to change that. We really, really do. Otherwise, we're going to have so many issues. So the crew themselves are fine. The gunner and loader, I guess we could... Hmm, in fact, let's go with like 0 0.85 on each of these. 0.85. Clearly, it's going to get worse for both the driver and, in fact, everybody on board. There's only two people. Um, realistically, they would be sat on the outside, but obviously, they're not in this one. Um, but yeah, we need to go to mobility. We need to go to engine. We're going to go ahead and increase this, and we're going to increase this to 1, 1.2. There we go, and now we should be able to move. There we go. Oh, this is going to be way better. Like, literally way better. Currently, one of my guys has died. Let's go ahead and see what the gun can do. Oh, it is worth mentioning, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Um, the guys inside my tanks are going to have such a hard time, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, because the AI cannot deal with aiming the way... Like, aiming with the tank, if that makes sense. So, um, don't be surprised if they all die. Because it's actually kind of hard to aim. Okay, I missed. <laughs> I actually missed. How long does it take to reload? Too long. It takes ages. All right, aim and fire. Okay, didn't manage to kill it. I think I need a different mantlet. I didn't want a different mantlet. I really wanted to use the one that I have. However, it doesn't have a traverse, and that makes it useless. So let's go to mantlets really quickly. We will actually just use one of these guys. Uh, it will be a 150. Bam. And... I didn't actually change the length of it before. Uh, I guess it was one meter before, but I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to increase this until it is the right size. Okay. We're then going to increase the length of the barrel. And we're going to go with 0.75. So it's 1.75 meters long. Go! All right. We are still within the space restraints. Actually, no, we're not. No, 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 no. Lower this all the way back down. We need to go to the mount. And this needs a ratio of 250. Bam. There we go. Nice. All right, that works. And now we can actually go to the cannon yet again. And uh, make this longer until we have no room. Wait, that was too much. Slightly less. Come on. There. Okay, go. Go, go, go. So now we can actually traverse the gun. In order to aim, which means the AI should do a little bit better. That is on my team. There we go. All right, nice. Takes 20 seconds to reload, so let's just switch tanks as we go. Okay. Don't know where all the enemies are, actually. I know there's... Oh, there's a few there. That guy died. So that's nice. There's another two on that hill, at least. And then there's one up here, and then there's another one there. I know where all of them are. That's lucky. Okay. So, we're going to drive up here, and... I think I'm actually going to try and deal with the boss tank first. Although, if I can shoot this guy, that'd be great. Aim down. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, don't have to deal with him anymore. There is only two tanks remaining. It is that one up there, I believe. And the boss guy, who is right here. Oh, no. He's taking out my gunner driver and loader. Oh, that bounced off. Uh-oh. All right, we need more tanks in there. Why is no one shooting that guy? Are you guys okay? Just shoot him. What's happening? Aim and fire! He didn't die. Oh, yikes. Bad things are happening, guys. Bad things are happening. Aim higher. And fire. Okay, that also didn't go through. Aim. Fire! Okay, again, that did not go through. Yikes, but he is reversing, so that's good. Is that guy still not dead? <laughs> He's just driving around up there and no one's killed him. Ah! Because we had a shot a barrel before, I figured I had to aim higher, but actually, no, we didn't, so never mind. Anyway, I'm going to drive up this way, go around, flank him, and kill. What the? What the hell? Oh, no way. Now he's actually just shooting my guys in the side and killing them. 
Oh, <laughs> that's so annoying. Okay, right. Well, I'm gonna go around. I will be able to kill this guy. Uh, like, I'll definitely be able to kill this guy, right? Um, so he should be dead very soon. Unless he comes over this hill and shoots me in the face, which that would be really sad. All right, aim the gun up. Aim the gun up. Okay. Right, that did not kill him. It's a bit of a yikes. I don't know how we're going to kill the boss tank if we can't kill this guy. But we will try. All right, 11 seconds. We're going to wait until that's, uh, that's done. Okay, two and one. Here we go. Let's descend on the enemy who is right here. There we go. Okay, just had to drive right into his side and shoot him. Nice. Okay, so now finally it is the boss guy who is just there. We're going to go ahead and go around the side of him, flank him a little bit, and then uh, hopefully he'll die. I don't know whether that's actually true, but we'll see. So here we go. We're going to descend. We're going to go quite fast down the hill. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot uh, now. Okay, that did hit, but didn't do very much damage. So we're going to continue down. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to kill him. There is doors on the back. I guess I could shoot through there. Also, I have no idea why he's not turning and trying to kill me. I actually don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and ram him in the butt. Ram him right in the butt. There we go. Aim as low as I can. Here we go. And fire. There we go. Straight through his doors. Lovely. Nice. We did it, guys. We actually did it. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this video here for now. It did its mission. It did its job. And I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and um, yeah, also let me know what you guys want to see in the future. For now, thanks for watching, see you next time, goodbye.